Hello and welcome to this edition of the Telescope Makers Workshop. In this edition, we'll be discussing the disassembly of the equatorial head of a Criterion RV6 dinoscope. We'll be cleaning the declination shaft and discussing other parts. As we continue with the restoration of the dinoscope, in this photo you can see that I have removed the equatorial head from the pier, removed the telescope mounting rings from the saddle of the equatorial head, and removed the weight, the uh, counterbalance weight. The counterbalance weight removal was a bit of a challenge because the shaft was uh, slightly munged up from where the shaft collar had been uh, holding the counterbalance weight, had been uh, tied into the uh, shaft. What I had to do to remove the shaft collar after loosening the set screw, I then used the weight as a hammer, sliding it back and forth on the shaft until the uh, shaft collar, uh, slamming it down until the shaft collar was actually loosened and came off and uh, then I put it over on the um, on the table. I also took the weight off. What you see now at the bottom is a shaft collar that goes right below the uh, declination setting circle. That came off also uh, relatively uh, uneventfully once I had the uh, weight off and the uh, other shaft collar off. I'm now ready to begin disassembling the equatorial head, which will uh, be in the next photo. You'll also see the clock drive, which I took apart. In this photo, we see the clock drive mechanism, starting from the top, two adjustment screws for the worm gear. The worm gear, which is tied in to the drive motor with a uh, adapter, the electric cord attached to the worm, uh, to the drive gear, uh, drive motor rather, with two wire nuts. Down below we have the drive gear, and attached to that we have the clutch mechanism, which is attached with three screws. Now what you cannot see is that the three screws also have washers on each side and springs. In the center, we see the end of the polar shaft, which is fairly rusted. We will be taking this apart. I will be cleaning the polar shaft on the lathe to uh, make it look nice without taking off any material so that we don't uh, change its dimensions. And all of this is mounted on a mounting plate in the back, which we will also be taking apart and cleaning up. This should be adjusted once when it's put together and basically stay the way it is. What you also don't see is underneath the clutch plate there is a cork circle with a hole in it that is the actual clutch. That turned out to be in much better shape than was expected and we will not be replacing that. In this picture we are looking at what turned out to be two hours of work, give or take, on a lathe. We're looking at the declination shaft. As you can see, it is pretty dirty. What you can't see is that there are also uh, some dis uh, deformations in it where the uh, shaft collars and the weight nut had uh, been tightened too tight into the uh, declination shaft. It's sitting on the equatorial head, I'm sorry, on the equatorial uh, saddle, and that's actually been pressed on, so I cannot take this apart any further at this point, nor do I particularly want to. I will also be cleaning up and repainting the saddle. Initially I thought it was anodized. It's not. It's just painted with uh, basically wrinkle paint or hammered effect paint. So we'll be cleaning that up. I may sandblast it and then repaint it so that it looks good as new. 
In this photo, you see the declination shaft set up in the lathe. It's been centered first at the back with the saddle being held in the chuck. I then centered the far end from the chuck and I used an end mill to cut a hole in the shaft and now I have the tailstock with a point holding it. I'm doing this before I start to rotate the lathe just so that I can have it all set up and show you what it looks like. I'm going to leave it in the lathe and I'm going to clean it up making sure that I do not uh, take any material off the bearing surfaces and you can see the dark circle down by the lathe. That's where the polar shaft uh, back, I'm sorry, not the polar shaft, the uh, polar bearing in the back meets the declination shaft and rides on it. The whole shaft will be cleaned up so that it's nice and shiny. This photo shows the declination shaft after about two hours of work on the lathe. We cleaned it up, it's shiny. I basically took down with a file all the high spots uh, down on the declination shaft, being careful not to touch where the polar shaft bearing meets the declination shaft. I then polished and buffed it with successively finer grits from 150 all the way down to 4,000. And it's now ready to uh, have this saddle cleaned and repainted. And I'll do that making sure that I tape the declination shaft so I don't get it dirty and mung it up now that it's been, uh, now that it's been cleaned up. This is the cork clutch out of the disassembled clock drive. As you can see, it's in fairly good shape. To the right, you can just see the uh, drive gear, which I put in the clutch uh, back into temporarily. Uh, there's also a pressure plate inside of there. In this photo, you can see the polar housing, the polar shaft that's been removed and the setting circle, which is adjustable, is still on the polar housing. The polar shaft will be chucked up in a lathe and cleaned up. And this is the result of cleaning up the polar shaft. I chucked it up in a lathe and uh, cleaned it up much the same way that I did the declination shaft. It is now ready to be reinstalled once I've painted everything that I have to paint with uh, Krylon wrinkle paint.